Oh, hello. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is December 8th of 2016. It's uh, cold outside. Echo, what's the temperature? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 34 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 39 degrees and a low of 25 degrees. I just purchased a software, uh, NCH video capture software. So this is my test of it. I own two or three other video capture or uh, desktop capture programs at least. I purchased this because it looked a little bit interesting. I like to try new stuff. I like to spend money, I guess. I think I used this, I think I owned one of their programs or more in the past. So long ago I've forgotten. I paid about $40 for this program. Uh, what's been going on? Let's see. I need to do a review of this. Um, if you are in the market, I'm not sure if I'll get it done today, but I'm going to ubiquity. Uh, AP AC Pro. I took this down off the wall here. I was using it. Wait a minute, is this the one? Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to sell this. Let me bookmark this. Wait a minute, let me, because uh, I'm going to sell this thing here, Let's see, open in a new tab, I don't even know what in the hell, if you watch some of my videos, I think you, I have no idea what in the hell this remote control device thing was supposed to do, but I have one. I had it hooked up to my equipment here. I don't know what it was doing. Uh, let's see. Open in a new tab. I'm going to be selling this also. Um, this is really neat, and you saw, in some of my videos, you saw me show the device, but you also saw me showing the software, which is fantastic. Uh, software's free. So I've got these three things that I'm gonna sell. What do, there's something else that it doesn't show that, uh, And maybe that came, well, it wouldn't fit in the box. Maybe that came with, with this. So it'll be going with this included, even if it was separate. Uh, and it is, I don't know where it's around. I got so much stuff around here. A um, you plug your wired cable, networking cable, into this on the wall, and let's. And if you're not using the router, if you're not using their, and you run it down into the box, 
and it box plugs into AC and then you plug in another wire or a cable and you run into your networking so that could, you could be going into your hub or you could be going into uh, your router uh, or whatever but I believe when you set this up if you set it up I was using it uh, not using that device because I had a router so I was going directly as you I should have I took the down off the wall today but I was just going right over into uh, the uh, well into there that's what right it was going over into not that not that not that not that not that I was just going over into that <clears throat> but what you can do with this thing that you get is you don't have to have their their device you can just go into any uh, into any net internet source and when you do that though before you do that you run that cable into your laptop or uh, whatever to program the thing so the whole setup is pretty neat um, so I'm going to sell it all well I may sell it going to sell this with that thing that I was talking about I'm going to put it on eBay it's going to take a little bit of work easy. i got to take the photographs and figure out whatever and round everything up the paperwork for this is probably in a file and it needs to be in the box when people get it, so that type of stuff. Uh, yes, I took, yes, I took my morning medication. Uh, what else did I want to say? Well, this is, like I said, this is a test of this software. Looks like it'll work because I did do a little short thing to make sure that uh, that the audio is recording. The other thing I noticed, though, which I haven't had a I haven't noticed that with other screen capture or desktop capture uh, things, the text the uh, quality of the text or the screen was not as high quality as sharp so I'm not sure I probably don't have the uh, settings right because I'm sure they do so what else did I want to tell you uh, I think that's it so I'll bring this to a conclusion. You wonder what happened? My ex-wife hit me in the head. She hits me in the head all the time. Now, I don't know, a year ago or whatever, I banged my head on something. It uh, scabs up. Scab will be on there a long time. Scab comes off and, it, and it's just a little reddish area, you know, like a small abrasion, not a dent into my head or whatever and it, uh, it then another scab forms it never heals up I got a permanent boo-boo uh, to the top of my head so uh, let's see how this works I may go back to my other screen capture software well we'll see I need to give this a try a lot of times I purchase things or purchased uh, software and I don't don't give them a try don't spend enough time I, I don't believe in reading I don't want to use anything that you know a computer really computers you shouldn't have to computers should just do what they're you shouldn't have to do anything. I guess we'll get to that point. I guess we're coming to that point uh, here before long. 
I mean, some people, well, in the old days, I mean, when I, 1982, when I first set up my bulletin board system, you know, there was no BBS program that would run for my uh, computer that way and with, with, with the hardware that I had, the hardware I didn't have, you know, didn't have, not only did I not have a hard drive, I'm not sure hard drives were invented for, at that point, for home computers, not only, I didn't even have a floppy drive, and floppy drives, at that time, you were 360K, is what you saved on the big floppy drive, I mean, and I, so I had to write a program in BASIC, and I loved doing that, that was great because I started, I didn't know anything about BASIC and I just had the BASIC manual and flip through, oh, okay. I can get it to take the phone off the hook. And I did that. Okay, now I can get it to type, welcome to Howard's Notebook. Okay. You know, then, so the next day, I put it online, you know, but then the, the next day, okay, I can get it to ask for the person, you know, and then I'd, just keep looking through, you know, input string, blah, 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 and then just, you know, so that was fun. Now, I don't want to do that, and now I don't think anybody should have to do anything like that. I think you should just plug in your computer, and it should work, and you shouldn't have to worry about all the things that you have to worry about, and especially if you're, if you're a Windows user. I think Apple's a little bit that way. I think you just do do stuff and it runs, but you have, some, you have a lot of limitations, you know. And well, I don't know much about now. What it, in the beginning, though, Apple computers were extremely expensive. Software was very limited and extremely expensive. And uh, even later on, I had a friend that he was into Apple computers, and he was always spending a whole bunch of money to, uh, you know, when a new, when an upgrade would come. So where with Windows, you could get uh, shareware and um, all types of software. But then you have to go in and do stuff with it. You know, you have to create a bat file. You have to configure it. You have to do this and I just don't want to do, I didn't want to do that too much of that stuff in the beginning, but now I think you should just turn the computer on and it should do everything and should, you shouldn't have to worry about things that you do have to worry about, especially with Windows. Anyway, enough of that. Um, thank you very much for watching.